Ferrari thought of it, made it, and it's yours to just say, wow. It has the proverbial Ferrari 12-cylinder wine. It sounds like you're ripping sheets. And it's difficult not to get wrapped up in the noise. You're just going, oh, it is so beautiful. But you have to drive. You lose attention for one nanosecond. You've covered about 20 feet. My name is Stephen Reed, and uh, the car we're looking at is a 312 PB, a 1972 car. It was raced in the European circuits. It won the Sebring, it won the Daytona Six Hours. Brands Hatch, Watkins Glen, and Nuremberg Ring. It won most of the races it had in Europe. At the end of the 1974 season, it was the end of sports prototype racing for Ferrari, and so it is really the last of a Ferrari prototype sports racing car. Well, you have to warm the engine, get the oil up to a certain temperature and the water up to a certain temperature. It takes about 10 minutes. During that period of time, you're going over the track, eyes closed, driving the track. I was on the U.S. downhill team early in the 70s, and I've always compared these cars to skis. Very precise, you can steer it with four fingers. It's the most ergonomic car I have, and I think you're in three, four Gs in a high-speed turn, but it's a Formula One cockpit. You're in the seat precisely, there's no movement in the seat, all you do is lift your wrist. One for a quick speed shift and for the steering wheel. You can brake much later and the confidence of the car will just set nicely around the turn. So it's a very, very efficient car. I think the 312 was the first car that I purchased that was a works car, where it was actually driven by hand-picked Ferrari drivers. I think it went through so many, from Surtees to Redmond to Mazzario. I've taken this car pretty much all over the world. I think I probably put um, between practice and racing maybe 20 hours a year on the car, which is substantial. The purpose of my buying the car initially is what it must have been like in the era, uh, racing the car and feeling the precision 
The only intimidating thing about the car was early pictures we saw when we bought the car of about 20 mechanics and support crew around the car every minute it was on the track and knowing that obviously it's prohibitive in vintage racing to do that. I think Ferraris really have the ultimate engineering and the ultimate design matched with the engineering. The 312, its drivetrain matches the sophisticated simplicity of the body. Having big back and lower circumference front wheels, you get the feeling of a car made to do what you want it to do. Uh, it feels and looks like a cheetah. It gives you that last burst of confidence when you get on the grid. You take a spin around, you look at that engine, you go, yes, no problem.